Welcome to the Popish Plot. I'm Mike, with this month's Pope's Prayer Intention. For the month of December, the last month of the calendar year, 2020, but, excitingly, the first year, the first month, of course, of the Church's new liturgical year, His Holiness Pope Francis has given us this to chew on. Now, of course, the Pope is the successor of Peter, and the visible sign of Christian unity. So, whether you're Catholic or not, we all ought to pray in solidarity with the Pope. And this is what he's given us this month. For a life of prayer, we pray that our personal relationship with Jesus Christ be nourished by the Word of God and a life of prayer. Now, there's so many elements here to unpack. So, first... There are still, even though it's, again, it's, it's near the end of 2020, there are still some Catholics who are uncomfortable with the term personal relationship. They think of that as a Protestant term. And while it is true that the way some Protestants use personal relationship, they mean, oh, just me and Jesus, it doesn't have anything to do with anybody else. Whereas we know from, you know, the Holy Bible, that we are saved in a corporate sense if you know if you if you're sinning and you're lost and i don't do anything to warn you yeah that's not going to go well for me and the same way if i'm lost and i'm wandering off and you don't do anything to bring me back yeah that's not going to go well for you we are responsible one for each other but we all ought to be comfortable with the idea of having a personal relationship for this simple reason jesus christ is a person the second person of the Most Holy Trinity. You are a person. Therefore, your relationship is a personal relationship. He's not to be viewed as unapproachable, since, after all, the Father and the Son have sent the Holy Spirit to dwell in your heart. And our destiny is to be fully incorporated in perfect communion with God. Person to person, baby. It's great. But this person relationship needs to be nourished. It's not just enough to say one and done. Hey, I pray this sinner's prayer. Now I'm all right. We have to nourish it with the life of prayer and with the word of God. Now, we here at the Popish Plot have often urged you, please read your danged Bibles. And you ought to. But it's important here to remember that the word of God is not synonymous with the Bible, is not synonymous with the sacred scriptures. Because after all, It says at the beginning of Luke's gospel, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Christians are not people of the book. We are people of the word, and the word is Jesus. We see here at the beginning of Luke's gospel, John the Baptist is in the woods, he's doing his thing. The word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah in the wilderness. Now, does that mean that someone all of a sudden handed him a copy of the scriptures? The word of God doesn't just come to us in the Bible. Now, the Holy Bible is a very good thing. We should all read the Holy Bible more often. If possible, you should read the Bible with our bishop in the Bishop's Year of the Bible. we've We've done a video about that. I don't know if it'll air before or after this one, but regardless. But... That's not the only way the word of God comes to us. The word of God comes to us when we pray. The word of God comes to us when we hear a preacher who is truly speaking, who is truly fulfilling his prophetic office. A prophet is simply someone who speaks on behalf of God. But, and this this is where this intention is so important, why we need a life of prayer. So often, you know, We'll, we'll, we'll be, you know, we say our prayers in that, you know, we sit down and we talk to God. To God, I need this. God, I need that. Please heal this person. Heal this person. And that might all be very good. And we may even, you know, read the Holy Bible. But we don't really have that life of prayer that the Pope is trying to urge us to cultivate here if we are always the one speaking. The most important part of your life of prayer, and by your life of prayer, I mean the most important part of your life of prayer, I need to hear this as much as anybody, is 
to shut up, or sorry, that's rude, is to be quiet and listen. To hear the word of God. So, yeah, I, I have no idea why all of a sudden I'm just you know, like that. But hey, we're back. I'm no longer washed out. Maybe it's when I got far too far away. Mm. Regardless, tech stuff. So, let us all pray in solidarity with the Pope. We pray that our personal relationship with Jesus Christ be nourished by the Word of God and a life of prayer. So this Advent, this whole December, because some of December will be out of Advent, it'll be, you know, Christmas. I hope you, I will pray for you and your life of prayer, and I beg you, because, you know, I'm not a very good intercessor, because, you know, I'm all sinful and whatnot, but I beg you to pray for me and my life of prayer. And together, praying with and for each other, we can all develop that life of prayer. We can all nourish that personal relationship with our Lord and Savior, our King, Jesus Christ. So, pray in solidarity with the Pope. Like this video. Subscribe to our channel. Ring the little church bell to be notified when the next brilliant plot is uploaded. And until next time, remember to live your faith, love your faith, share that love. Thank you.